is Rajiv Sritharan. Last video, we have discussed about basics of CNC machining. In this video, we will see the actual machining videos and I have also added the basic principle of CNC working. I hope you will enjoy this video. CNC means computerized numerical control. To understand the working of a CNC, let us understand the important components of a CNC machine. A CNC controller which will store the CNC program. A control circuit to generate voltage signals as per CNC program instructions. An amplifier to amplify the signals. A servo motor to rotate the ball screw which in turn will move the slide. An encoder to measure the actual rotation of the ball screw which in turn will tell the actual movement. In this video, you can see the ball screw rotation and actual movement of slide. A CNC machine is having a closed loop system. Encoder will check the actual movement and the signals will be sent back to the controller. Controller will analyze the variations if any and appropriate corrections will be made and corrected signals will be sent to the servo motor. There are two types of encoders, absolute and incremental. With an absolute encoder, actual position will be measured. With incremental encoder, it will only check the relative position with respect to the reference position. A rotary optical encoder converts rotary motion into a sequence of digital pulses. A light source is continuously sending light beam. When the disk is rotated, wherever there are slots or holes, light will be received at the opposite side of the disk. In absolute encoder, each position is referenced with a unique code, so the position is always known. A linear encoder is always accurate than a rotary encoder since there is no mechanical losses. When the rotary encoder measures the position by way of the number of turns the ball screw has rotated, a linear encoder directly measures the position. Now what you see is a ball screw assembly. You can see the recirculating balls. When a ball screw is rotated one turn, the movement need not be exactly equal to the pitch. Actual movement can differ because of backlash. A backlash is an error caused by the play between the nut and the screw. When the direction is reversed, the movement will not happen by an amount equal to the play. When there is no play between the ball and the slot, the movement will be smooth. Now you can enjoy some videos showing parts of the machine and actual machining videos. They are self explanatory
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have liked it, please press like and subscribe the channel for getting notification on new videos. I will bring more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.